that song, There'll Come a Day, was by Bob Killian. And um, it's one of our anthems at Clearwater. Right now, I'd like to introduce you to Al Schnitzer and Tom Brennan, our able-bodied uh, entertainment committee. And Tom, uh, Bob is also on that committee. And C. Killian is not here. And they did such a super job. It took a lot of pressure off of uh, me for the last two years, actually. Al's been on it for two years, and so has Tom. And uh, we have a great lineup. Want to tell us a little bit about the lineup we had out there for the festival? Well, uh, that's how um, we've got a lot of entertainment. Uh, you know, I want to take the opportunity to thank all the performers uh, in advance, and not only the ones that are going to play, but the ones that uh, expressed an interest in playing. We've had uh, such response over the years. Uh, the festival's grown from the kind of event where you just came out with the guitar and you got to play to the kind of thing where you have to make uh, your interest known months in advance and then hopefully you get on. We have a, a real mix of people that have been there before and been after, uh, you know. Uh, you want to say something about yeah, we did get a really good mix this year. We were very happy with it. We have some old favorites that were there when the festival was started, and we have some local favorites who have uh, been playing for years and years and supported us. And we also have some new people, so we got a little bit of everything. Also, the variety. Mm -hmm. We have what, Cajun and Irish and folk and jazz. Really, just a little bit of everything. We wanted something for everybody was our goal, mm -hmm. and I think we've, we've accomplished that. We really goal. have accomplished it, in spite of a 40% cutback by mm -hmm. New Jersey State Council. <laughs> excuse me, Council on the Arts. It's not coming out easily, is it? Yeah. We uh, never considered a pay what we've given to our performers, mm -hmm. just an honorarium, and even that has been cut back. And yet everyone was told this up front, and they all agreed to come out anyway, yeah. because the musicians at the Jersey Shore are the most generous bunch of people yes. that I have ever met. Mm -hmm. We've got performers that are, you know, that really, uh, they're working regularly, some of the big club acts around here, other acts uh, that really can't come in at quite a price. And they're essentially playing for pocket change. And uh, when we advised them of the fact that the honorariums were going to be very small, not one that I spoke not to, one. Not one that I know, spoke to. raised any kind of objection. They were all like, mostly what, basically what they said was, we don't do this for the money. That's true. We do it for the cause. That's and that's gratifying. really nice to hear. It's very gratifying. We have a family stage in the children's area this year, which will be uh, run by uh, Bob and Fee. And there will be things like learning how to play spoons and how to um, uh, learn sign language, a whistling workshop. Annie Breen will be out there, dance avant-garde, mammoth folk dancers, Elaine Silver. In our main stages, we also have uh, acts like uh, the Knott Brothers, Killian and the Company, uh, Ronnie Brandt, Dan Einbender, Bobby Bandiera, the Fair Lanes, the Outcry. There's a Land Between the Rivers band, Zeke Moffat, any ones you can think of? Lopez, right? well, Big Danny, these people have supported us for years. Uh, come on after the festival, have a great time. Really, there's going to be uh, three stages of continuous performances, and everyone is going to be there with a special purpose to better the environment. Monmouth County Friends of Clearwater is a group of volunteers dedicated to a cleaner environment. And we hope that you'll make a small donation because the festival is free to this worthy cause because this is the way that we keep going and that we keep fighting for a cleaner future here in Monmouth County. So we hope to see you all out there at the festival and come early, bring your uh, lawn chairs, bring your umbrella or whatever you need to make yourself comfortable, bring the kids because there's lots of things for them to do. And we're going to close out this show with a song by Bob Killian the Jersey Shore. Thank you very much.